All right, now we're on free code camp, new responsive web design. Learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 39. In order to form, pardon me, in order for a form's data to be accessed by the location specified in the action attribute, we must give the text field a name attribute and assign it a value to represent the data being submitted. For example, we could use the following syntax for an email address. Input type equals text, name equals email, all right? And that we're gonna add the name attribute with the value cat photo URL to the end, uh, pardon me, to our text field. All right, so basically, we're gonna go over here to the W3 thing. And uh, here's the actual definition, here's, here's their definition of the name attribute. The name attribute specifies the name of the input element. All right, that makes sense. The name attribute is used for reference elements in JavaScript or to reference form data after a form is submitted. What? Okay, so it's used to reference elements in JavaScript. All right, I guess we can do that later, but we're not doing that right now, just HTML. Uh, but here's the thing, only Form elements with a name attribute will have their values passed when submitting a form. So let's do this. Let's do this. Try it yourself. So if we have something like this, which is doing an input of first name and last name, and we submit it, it's going to go to the server looking like this. First name equals whatever, and last name, let me put stuff in there. One second. Run. Okay. Uh, Codeman S. JavaScript submit and this is what it would put in codeman s and then l name equals JavaScript and that's how the server would get it but we don't we're not going to go over that anyway just to let you know so that being said we're going to come over here we're going to say name whoops name just like this right here equals and we're going to say uh, cat photo URL just like that all right and let's check it all right that's good and submit it and now we're on to step 40 and we'll see you next time